Ugh. Okay. I give up. I give up. I give up. My hair is just, it's gonna look stupid in this video. Don't. 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 Okay. If you are new to my channel, I make and sell candles and it's kind of just a personal vlog. It started off me trying to give like business advice and I realized like I haven't even been in business yet and I'm trying to sit over here and give business advice. So I guess I should have been saying that my channel was, it's, I'm documenting my journey with my first small business and that includes screw ups and learning that I was wrong and you know, just making mistakes and learning from them and sharing my experiences, including the mistakes. Um, that actually kind of has a little bit to do with this video. I, I have spent the last two weeks being incredibly impatient, waiting for these two candles right here to cure. Two weeks, okay? I'll talk more about those in a second. Since I started my candle testing journey, uh, about halfway through, I started messing with Vibar. Vibar is an additive. It is to harden your wax, raise the melt point of your wax. It is also to help with the fragrance load. There are some mixed opinions about whether it, it, it makes the smell stronger of the fragrance oil you've already put in there or that it just allows you to add more fragrance oil. Now, my candles are already luxury candles and my cost of goods is pretty high. So I don't really want to add more fragrance oil. I do between eight and 9% fragrance oil. And I don't want to go any higher than that because I'm already doing wax melts and those you know, are like, you know, 11% and fragrance oil is expensive and now wax is getting expensive and it's just like, ha in the past th three months since I started testing with Vibar, I have discovered something, by the way, whenever you look up like how much Vibar to put in a candle, you know how we measure everything in weight? Well, it says to put a half a teaspoon per pound. <laughs> yeah, and it's like it rises because I don't I whenever I do my test candles, I only do five ounces and that it shouldn't be going up that high. It's because the candles doesn't it's not that high up the candle when I pour it. So I'm lighting it, blowing it out. And then it's like the blob ing over on the sides. It's it's weird. Anyways, okay, so I finally got my formula down to the formula that I want to use, and now I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I want to put Vibar in there. What I'm really trying to figure out is, does Vibar work? That's the big question is, does Vibar work? So what I did, I have two candles here. These candles are both the exact same formula. They're the same ratios of wax. They are the same fragrance oil, the same fragrance oil percentage. It was heated to the same temperature. It was uh, the fragrance oil was poured at the same temperature and it was, the wax was poured at the same temperature and they were cured for the exact same amount of time. The only difference between these two candles is that this guy has Vibar in it. First, I need to test out the cold throw. Mm. This is the one, this is the one without Vibar. Okay, that smelled really good. Smells almost the exact same. <laughs> All right, so base the cold throw some the exact same, the the same strength. I think. I mean, let me try again. I mean, the one with the Vibar might just barely, but that might just be in my head because I think they're the same. What I really need is like some freaking pickled ginger to rub in my nose because sushi. That was a weird sentence. I'm, <laughs> never mind. Um, I'm gonna burn one of them in the bathroom and then the other one in the closet in the bathroom where my candle station is because those are around the same size. 
I'll go walk through both of the rooms and see which which one smells better. We'll see. I'll, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. They may end up smelling. I mean, okay, so what we're trying to figure out here is, does Vibar actually do anything besides make my candles cauliflower? That was the whole point of showing you this, by the way, was whenever I add Vibar, it does that. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to burn these for two hours and let them cool and then I'll show y'all what they look like and we'll talk about the scent. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so my chair is falling apart. Um, I tested. You can't see it. Yes, you can. Okay, that candle I just tested in the closet of my bathroom and I tested the Vibar one in the bathroom which the bathroom is just a little bit bigger than the closet. So when I walked into the bathroom, I could smell it, but it was really vague because there's no airflow in, in either of those rooms. So I thought, okay, well, I can still smell it. That's something. Um, but it was really faint. And then I went into the closet with that one. That's the one with no Vibar in it. And I smelled nothing. So airflow is very important, guys. I actually recorded another video <laughs> while, while it was burning. That's been burning for about an hour and a half. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna leave the room and then come back. Oh yeah, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. Um, this is not meant for a chair. There's like a burn mark right here. I just, I had to put my altar up from the closet when I moved everything. Uh, all my, whenever I moved my candle stuff into the closet, I had to put my altar up. I threw this in the washer because it was just covered with ash and burn marks. That is pretty strong, actually. So we're gonna let it cool. While that's doing that, I'm gonna let the scent kind of go away and then I'm gonna bring the one with Vibar in here. My only issue with Vibar is the fact that it makes the candles crazy ugly and I would never wanna sell a customer a candle that cools like that. So if it turns out that Vibar does make them a lot stronger and smell a lot better I'm just, I'm going to blow it out and see if the fact that I'm using a bunch of luxury wax now in my formula, if that helped with that, because I haven't been able to figure out why it's doing that. Let's let that go. So Vibar does make a difference in scent. I'm pretty sure that one is the one with Vibar. So. I know. I think it's about the same. That's really weird because when I went in there, when there was no air blowing, the Vibar candle had a very faint smell to it, but the one without Vibar had no smell. And now that it's out with the fan, it doesn't smell any different. Well, let me leave the room and come back. So, It smells like the exact same. Again, like with the cold throw, I think I I think that I think it smells a little bit stronger just because I know that that one has Vibar in it, if that makes any sense. What I can take away from this is that either one, Vibar doesn't work, or two, Vibar is not meant to make you know, an 8% fragrance oil candle smell like it's more, it does actually just allow you to add more fragrance oil, which I'm not gonna do. I've done 10% fragrance oil candles and I didn't like the way that the scent smelled. It smelled different. It smelled like chemical, kind of, chem chemical, chemically, chemical-esque. 
I'm gonna blow it out and then let it cool and we're gonna see what they look like when they're cooled because this it, it raises the melt point of your candles and I live in Texas so all the candles that I'm about to ship out when I launch I'm gonna have to wrap them in this stuff which is cool shield bubble wrap and I'm gonna do it anyways but the Vibar does raise the melt point, so there's even, it's it's just more protection. And um, it also makes them a little bit more opaque. And I want my candles to be really, really white. Real quick again, this is what Vibar looks like. I have, I've done a lot of testing with when to add it because there is not, there's like no information on how to properly use Vibar on the internet. I can't find any. So I have done a lot of testing with how much I put in and what, and what part of the process to put it in because it doesn't tell you that either. <laughs> These were both really similar though. Like I'm just being honest. They were both, I guess right now I'm just going to let these cool. And then I'll show y'all what they look like. And oh my god, I'm hoping so bad that the Vibar one doesn't make it all cloudy, cauliflowery. I've never actually watched it while it does this. <laughs> that I should, because that would be very interesting to watch the wax go up. Like this. This is the one with no Vibar, and it's. You know, it's a soy and coconut wax, so it's gonna cool weird. Anyways, this is the one with Vibar, the ones that normally always um, cauliflower. And I'm actually watching it cool this time. I can kind of see on the edges, it's already starting to kind of go up a little bit. Anyways, in case y'all were wondering what it looked like in the middle of cooling. I have a ridiculous headache, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this um, kind of quick. I'm, I apologize. The candle with no Vibar cooled like this. Um, it's not perfect, but it's it's soy and coconut wax, and if you use anything other than paraffin, you're gonna get a weird look on top. Anyways, now this is the one with Vibar in it. That. That's not that bad. That's, I mean, that doesn't really look that much different. It, it just looks kind of funky, but it didn't like cauliflower. It just kind of crystallized in the center. What I'm taking away from this is that Vibar and C6 wax, which is what all the, the test candles, the which is what that one that I showed you in the silver container was, it was all clouded up. I think that Vibar and C6 just don't mix. Vibar, I think, just barely makes the scent a little bit stronger. And that C6 wax and Vibar don't mix. Um, I mean, they seem to work. The scent seemed like it was better, but it made them look like monsters, and I'm not gonna sell that to a customer. So with the luxury wax that I'm using, and that makes sense, it's a luxury wax, so you you know you get what you pay for. So it was able to handle the Vibar much better, and it looks it looks a lot better. And it, it actually looks kind of crystallized, which kind of actually goes with my brand, anyways. So I mean, I'm cool with that. I'm going to light them again, do the exact same test, and if I get different results, I will add more to the video, but if it's the same, then I'm just gonna go ahead and do my ending now. So um, thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions or any information that might be different than uh, what I have shared with you in this video, please leave it in the comments below because I, I, I love learning about this stuff and um, hopefully this was helpful for anyone who's having a hard time with Vibar. Um, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be helping me out so much. And as always, be excellent to each other and party on dudes. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Thank you.